from this farm aid package because there's a lot of stories out there how it's only reaching some of the biggest farm conglomerates and not individual farmers. Mm -hmm. We're actually here, Stephanie and Allie. We're here at a USDA Farm Service Agency office where local farmers are coming in to uh, apply for the farmer relief payments. Uh, the, the, the question mark is to what extent is that actually going to make up the difference of what they are potentially going to lose. You saw just on Monday that USDA report you referenced. There is a 6% drop in the corn market. This goes beyond the stock market. This goes to agricultural commodities too. And so the question is, to what extent do these relief payments actually make up the losses that they are bound to face this upcoming harvest. I want to introduce you to one of those farmers, 78-year-old Richard Kiwi. He's a fourth-generation farmer. We met him yesterday as he walked into this building behind us to apply for those relief payments. This is a little bit of our conversation. What do you think of the, the trade war with China that the administration is taking? I think he's crazy, the president, for putting that on. I don't, I don't like it. I think he's nuts. He's lost his cork. You hurt farm, you're going to hurt the whole world.